Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today I have my nine clusters on one page to take apart. So I have stamped nine of the uh, nine tattoos of the small circle. I have some of the um, bling, some flowers and I have some washi tape. So to start off with, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some ink onto these. I just think that it needed a little bit of something. So I'm enhancing it with some green ink. So I used a blue stamp and our blue stamp pad and my little round stamp to get those and i have the others already ready then we're going to go ahead and tear around the outsides of these two okay so just tearing around it and remember i like um, tearing things because uh, I think it looks more forgiving if you mess up a little bit um, it's not it's not as bad as if you um, if you're cutting around and your circles not straight so I'm gonna use this uh, fun it's either Heather or lavender uh, washi and i'm going to place these in nine places so i did one around the on my page okay now you don't have to fill your whole page but you do have to use one paper and make your nine clusters on the one paper then take a picture of it and put it in the, um, after you've made your nine clusters on your one page, before you take them apart, take a picture of it and put it in the, um, in the group. Because that's how it's done, is you, you're making nine on the one page and then cutting them out. So if you, um, you could use a scoring tool or something if you think you want to, you know, really pay attention to where your nine places are. I'm just, uh, what do we got? We got four, five. I'll probably do more than the, the nine. Okay, I think I want a couple on this side. Okay, and then I have an idea in my head of what I'm doing here. So this one will go on top. And you can make anything out of your page. But you need to have clusters on your page. Okay, so I'm going to do two of these so your base page can basically you can turn it into journaling cards um right off of this if you wanted to so i'm going to go ahead and decide which side i like better i like this it gave me a little more color i'm going to be using my glue stick and so what i've decided is i'm going to add my tattoo I like the tattoos. They give you um, a good variation of, you know, things that you can use. And so my base is my paper. And now I've added washi. I've added my tattoo. Okay, and you can do your clusters however you want okay that way
and they can all be the same. They can be different, again, however you want. So I'll be going ahead and pasting all of the rest of those down right here, just like that. We have nine, three, six, nine, we've got 10. We've got 10 on our page. Okay, so um, this is giving you an idea of what it, what it looks like. And so <clears throat> next I have the little flowers. And so what I do is I'll go ahead and line up my little flowers and have my rhinestones ready. Found a couple more of the, the things. So I'll be able to do more um, and make more of these in the journal and they will help to... Um, make everything uh go along um well, what is the word uh yeah i can't think of the word um so i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue in the center here so um i did add a timu timu um link in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, I spent, I shopped over the weekend. Um, I had so much fun and holy moly, they have such a great, um, oh my gosh, they have so much crafty stuff. And I, I have, I had to set a timer. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I, I am an affiliate, so I have added a link in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It's a code where you can get 30% off your first order and, um, and, you know, I might get a little something from it. Um, I might not <laughs> if you use it. So, um, but you know, just in case you were thinking about going there, uh, I have that coupon code is in the description box of this video, as well as, um, in the, uh, scrap all about it with your Julie, Julie Facebook group in the featured section. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and let's go ahead and I will make the other seven of these just like that. <laughs> so I am going to be missing one, but that's okay. So the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give each of these a leaf. Okay, so one, two, three. I think I only have enough leaves to give them each one this time. I'm gonna have to go f get into my, uh, where my floral stuff is and grab some more of, I need more of the purple and I need some of the green. Okay, so I can go ahead and add those. So just like this, we'll add a a leaf and a flower and we'll go through and add those all the way around okay so we'll go ahead and Grab us another purple flower. Purple. Maybe put a couple purples up here in my in case I want to use them to match somewhere else. So we'll go ahead and we'll add purple. 
and our little baby blue. And this little guy. And with that, I will have my clusters. Now, the other thing that I may add to the clusters is I may take these off, you know, go around them and put them onto other things. But I went ahead and I've set them in here so that if I wanted to, they could become, um, they could become like journaling cards or a tag, um, just thinking ahead. So um, I'm thinking I also have like the stamped words that could go on here. Um, and so, yeah, so that is my page with nine clusters on it. A page with nine clusters. Yes, it can be that easy. Yes, I could have used a small one and just put them all around it and just ripped around my cluster and had it ready and done. But that is my nine clusters page. And now I do have another um, 12 by 12 of that same card stock. And I am going to go ahead and let's see i am going to make my um top touch okay so it's in the wrong direction of course i'm trying not to hit the cord of the phone okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna cut that just like that And then I'm going to cut it at an angle here. Okay, and let's see, it is like four and a quarter inches wide. And so, so I have cardstock this time. And we are going to, we're making a top tuck and so I'm liking the idea of this tuck space here. Um, I have I have some fabric. You know, that's been really fun to use this this fabric. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully I can, yeah, rip that. Okay. Mm, it didn't quite rip all the way down, but that's okay. We'll go with that. Okay, I'm going to add this to the edge. And I think we'll go ahead and let's do a piece of the lace. I really like this, this lace in this journal. And we'll go ahead and have it not quite go all the way from the top to the bottom. So it's like on here, like that, okay? So I like that. Now I want to find something that I can put on here. And this is the page that I'm working from. Okay, so those are, those two pieces, that, that's the same. <laughs> Ooh, what about from there, maybe? thinking possibly this one. Okay. okay. 
So I'm going to need to be making one of these for each of the journals. Okay. Do I want that to come up on top of this? With the lace? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, I'm thinking we, we probably have... enough um, where you can read where you can see the I don't know I don't like that I thought I was gonna like that what if we put our little purple like we did on the other like right there okay that's what we're gonna do and so here we go. We'll grab our fabric tack. Okay. We'll go ahead and put a line. We'll add our fabric. Okay. Adding our fabric. We'll check for for glue seepage. <laughs> And then I'm going to add this. Now I'm going to use the same glue because um, sometimes the glues will fight and nothing will ever dry. Well, maybe not ever, but it takes uh, quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just add that on. Okay, and then we'll come here. And we'll go with this, and this, 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 this. Okay, so all the way down and add that so that it's on top. Okay, collaging. The one thing about collaging is everything needs to touch. Now we are going to use our fabric tack here also. And you know what, where do I want it? I want it kind of on the outside. Okay, so there's that. But I really don't want to lose the white. Hmm, oh well. Little blue. And we'll Add this. Okay, so there's that. I mean, that is really, really cool. I like it. And that can go on to the edge. Now, I did pull out some of the little white hearts. And so, um, you know, that is a possibility of being able to use the hearts as well. Like we could put a heart down here at the bottom, but I don't, um, yeah, I don't, don't like it. Thought I would. Don't, don't like it. How about a little pink? Yeah, let's put a little pink one down here. I don't have very many of the little pink ones. I've, I've had these for years, so, um, you know, I'm at what's, what's left. I think I used these on the Easter, when I made like the little Easter banner and the hearts and all that, all those years ago. So that is going to be my top tuck. I really, really like this. Now, I think I want to add um, something here. And I could use, I could use the bottom. The, okay, what if we take my... my I just thought of this, so so I wasn't prepared. Sorry about that. Okay, 
Where's the, where's the pink one? I'll do that one. Let's see. Okay, so an edge punch. You know, since we can use everything, we might as well use everything in our stash, right? Because we can. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm lined up with it. And then I want to line up the flowers as well. Okay. So, let's see. Line up. Line up the flowers. Wow, I can't see. <laughs> come down here. We'll come to this side. Flowers. There they are. There's the flowers. Okay, make sure that that... Sure that that is in and then we'll line up the flowers there we go wow okay and oh you know what oh well we can do it this way which will actually be better maybe Okay, so I'm going to put glue along the edge of this. Oh, I should have should have cut it first. And I did mess up that that last one. Darn. down like that okay and what we can do is we can add a flower here to cover up the broken okay <laughs> just like the other one but okay so a lot of the places that used to sell all these wonderful things don't sell them anymore and I was really happy to find find things on that team you. So, um, okay. So that is my top tuck. I need to make another one for the other um, journal. And let's see. Um, do we have anything else? Uh, let's make our layered belly band. Let's make our layered belly band. Okay. So we still have more of that. And I'm thinking. Okay. So it needs to be like between five and five and a half inches. So that would be what? Five and a quarter. <laughs> Five. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do five and a quarter. And then I've got this piece left. Okay. And just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and pull this over. Okay. And I'm going to give it journaling space. Okay. 
journaling space right there. Okay, I need to make sure that I cut this so I don't accidentally use the extra piece. Okay, um, then I was going, to, I was thinking, this is what I was thinking. Now they do, for both journals, they do not need to be exactly alike. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and let's cut a piece, a rip. This is from the cloth napkin that I had. Okay. I'll clean that up a little. Okay, so we'll get the fray, the fray going here. Clean up this fray. This side is sewn and that's going to be okay. But I'm going to do a little lift on here. Okay. And then, whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and cut that in half. Okay, so we've got some cardstock, and we're gonna build this little guy like that. Okay, and we'll put our glue. I'm not gonna make this into a pocket because we have the lift or the flip, the little flip up with journaling space happening. So I'm going to collage on the layered, this is a layered belly band, okay? So things on top of things. <laughs> okay, so we'll go with that and we'll go with that. And then we'll add this. However that fits on there, it looks like it goes just to the, right to the edge at both sides. So notice I'm using fabric tack. I'm using the same glue, not switching my glues out. Same reason, because I don't want them to Okay, and then go ahead and let's bring in this one okay I like to use digitals when I can on all these different pieces to help bring in the colors and the theme Plus, we have to use 12 digital papers this time. Okay. Let's see. We go ahead and bring this down here and across here. What if we fix it so what if we okay what if we cut out the the postcard that'll be different okay put that oh wait a minute this could be our paper clip that could be our paper clip yeah 
that's that's going to be our paper clip okay okay so i think that'll make a great paper clip and we'll do that in different at a different time so we need something going along here um we could do the lace again but you know we've already done that so what if we go with one of the white flowers Okay, so one for me and one for you. Yeah, I like that. The white flower. And then we have blue flower. And we have, oh, I only have three pink flowers. Yeah, I don't like the pink anyway. Okay, come over to, I've got the medium blue over here. Okay, white, blue. This is going to be a paper clip that's going to come on and hold that. I like that. Okay, so we've got fabric, fabric, flowers. And a bling. Fabric, fabric, flowers, and a bling. I'll need blue just in case. Okay, now I'm thinking that I might want to put something on the inside of this. And I'm actually thinking possibly of doing one of these in here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so we need our washi tape. Remember, you only have to do one sheet of the nine, and then you use them between both, both, um, both journals. But I'm going to do an extra, just, uh, just the, the tattoo with the washi under it, like I've done before. I'm not going to add the flower to this because I don't want the bulk. But okay, so adding the tattoo right inside there, and that will give me my belly band. So we've added the stamping, the washi, flowers, and um, fabric. And then this will become a paper clip. We'll do those in another video because I need a paper clip for another thing as well. Okay, so top tuck, belly band, and page of nine clusters. I can mark off three things off of my list yay <laughs> okay so which one was your favorite i love these clusters you guys 
I love having them like this and just being able to come in and either cut it or rip it apart. And I think that this belly band is really going to, going to be pretty. Um, again, I have to decide on the words that I'm going to use, whether I'm going to go through and stamp um, using my stamps and stamp some words on something. But I think I want to add, add some of that throughout. So I have my top tuck and my belly band and my nine clusters on one page to take apart. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, today is Friday and that means it's the last day that all the digitals, every digital is in every digital in the shop is on sale through today for 40% off. If you are a diamond or emerald Patreon, your code is in the Patreon. So yeah, there you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Make sure you go watch another video right after this one and that you comment on this video or any video. Um, it really does help my channel to be seen and the videos to go out to more people. And I really appreciate that. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, the Timu um, link is in the description box down below. And watch for my Timu, Timu haul coming very soon. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.